Hello there and welcome once again to Sitam Church Online. Always a joy to be sharing these videos with each and every single one of you. Today we are going to be talking about the evolving Christian. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and we were just discussing about how very many at times as Christians we expect God to speak to us the same way he did in 2022, the same way he did in 2015, the same way he did in 2010 and basically years back in the past. But uh, with time, we got to understand in our conversation that God is evolving, that we are evolving. And as we continue to evolve and as we continue to go deeper in the word of God, we tend to see the dynamic about God, how he speaks to us in different ways. I'm reminded of, of scripture, um, the story of um, the man who uh, had an infirmity and he was by the pool of Bethsaida in John chapter 5 from verse 1 to 15. You find that this man was asked by Jesus um, in verse, I believe, uh, verse 6. It says, when Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? And this man says, sir, the invalid replied, I have no, other, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. When I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. See, what used to happen here is that these people who are unwell, these people who are invalid or rather had an infirmity in their body, they would wait for the angel of the Lord to come and stir the pool. And once the angel of the Lord would stir the pool, they would either have uh, somebody who will help them. This would happen, happen after a very long period of time. They would probably have a relative or a loved one who would help them to, um, to throw them into the pool and then they would get well. But this man starts, when Jesus asked him this question, I wouldn't really or you wouldn't really expect him to say, um, give a history of how he tried to get into the pool and you know complain and say this is what I have been wanting to do but it's not a, it has not happened you would expect him to give a direct answer either yes he wants to get well or no he doesn't want to get well and I realized that as I was reading through this scripture is that this man had they had a sequence in their mind there was a sequence in which things were happening they had a sequence in which they would see that it had to first start with the pool being started by the angel of the Lord then you find somebody, a loved one, who would help them to get inside the pool and then they would get well. But then now Jesus comes in and disrupts their thinking. He disrupts their sequence. He disrupts how things used to happen. And he asks him a very direct question. Do you want to get well? And to bring this home, God is asking you right now, Jesus is asking you right now, do you want to get that job? Why haven't you started that YouTube channel? Why haven't you started that bakery? Why haven't you begun what he has called you to do or what he has started in your heart to do or to start already? Could it be that you're expecting God to speak to you in a different way? Could you be expecting that God should be speaking to you the way he was speaking to you before and yet he's telling you what he already told you but because of the way you are used to things being or the sequence in which he used to speak to you then you have some doubt or some fear in you. And I've also found myself in that situation, you know. Right now we've just started a new month in March and I encourage you, that if God has stirred in your heart to start something, if God has stirred in your heart to do something, go ahead and do it. And one of the ways in which you are affirmed that God indeed is speaking to you is the peace of God. Once you have his peace and you know you are rest assured that God is definitely with you. A man of God said that one of the ways in which you can know that you are in the will of God is when at times you don't have the blueprint of what is going to happen at the end. And that means that God wants you to go deeper and hunger deeper for him in order for you to know, in order for you to understand, in order for you to be, for him to reveal to you what exactly he wants you to do in this particular situation. So thank you so much for watching. I do believe that this word has encouraged you. I pray that God is going to start up this word in you and that you're going to find the confidence and the courage to start that which he has called you to do. Thank you so much for watching. Engage with us on our social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Until next time, the Lord bless you.